before Broadway at the beach, before Barefoot Landing, there was the hammock shops in Polly's Island. So we're down here at the hammock shops today to visit it, take a look around. I came down here last weekend, shot a lot of video. None of it was usable. I wasn't in it. So you didn't get to see my smiling face. But uh, we're down here at Polly's Island at the hammock shops. We're gonna walk around, take a look. All right, so we got, didn't get out of the candle shop without spending any money. Gina got her some candle stuff, which smells really good in there. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So that'd be one store that I would definitely recommend would be the Island Company that sells candles here. So we're just going to, they were, uh, everything in there was local made. So, but uh, we'll put some of the stuff up in there, hopefully right now. And then uh, let's go check out some other stores. So you want to go into Sweet Home Carolina, honey? Sure. Let's go to Sweet Let's Home. Do it. Let's go to Sweet Home Carolina. Oh, I really like these tables. That'd be uh, That must have been what that lady was carrying. She had that little That'd bench. be great for a uh, patio. Mm -hmm. Sit up and have your coffee on or have your lunch on right there. Surfboard look. $325 surfboard coffee table oh look this one here's got shark bite out of it i really like that one there but yeah this stuff's cool and it's like a go. high top got your own little can opener on it bottle opener but i like these so this is real nice mm -hmm. it was 325 325 for those yeah they're solid no particle board. No particle board. Those are going to last you for a long time. They're varnished. But I like those. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's even got fins on it. Yep. I saw that on that one. You saw it on that one, yeah. That's cute, even if you had like a little kitchen and you had like a little counter area. Countertop area? Mm hmm. I like that. It looks good. Alright, that was a nice shop. They had a lot of nice stuff in there, didn't they? I like those tables they had in there. Those yeah. uh, surfboard tables are really cool. Uh, and then those, uh, the coolers they had in there, they were all metal. Uh, didn't look like they were insulated or anything like that, so I don't know how long it would keep anything cool. Maybe but uh, drop like a foam cooler type insert in it i had a drain plug in the bottom of okay. it so that's what i first that's what i thought at first but anyway they were uh they were really cool so we're just gonna keep walking around look at some of these shops they have down here so they have the christmas mouse but there's a couple of these actually up in uh there's one in, uh right on 17 yeah 17 business down before you get into on the south end of myrtle beach but uh Several of them in, in Myrtle Beach, but uh, got somebody here that does uh, the sweet grass baskets, Charleston style. So we're gonna walk in here and check this out. And, uh, affordable apparel. But uh, I was reading this little sign up here, but I wanted to come back and make, maybe make sure we get a good look at it. But the outside of these walls, the new construction of Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area, you'll see these types of walls being used on the uh, houses. But this building is a typical of the Carolina Low Country Cottage, which I found along the South Carolina Club. Coasts, it is a close facsimile of a summer place, summer home of Archibald Rutledge former poet laureate of South Carolina. Summer Place was built in 1870 by Mr. Rutledge's father and still stands in McClellanville. So this uh, little house right here is actually a replica. But uh, we'll walk down this porch here and take a look. But uh, Mrs. B that does the uh, sweetgrass baskets, she's had a few health problems here and she'll be back in a couple of weeks. So uh, we're not going to get to look at those sweetgrass baskets. But uh, you can go down to Charleston and get those. But you can actually stop here. And Mrs. B makes them right here in Polly's Island. 
I like this little building over here and it didn't look like they were open but this is the uh, the Christmas mouse I like this uh, wood cabin log cabin type of looking building up here but uh, the landscaping and everything here is just great I mean uh, it's just really landscaped really well it's really maintained down here and actually when you're down here in the summertime and you're walking around while you're on vacation down here there's so many pine trees and oak trees and magnolias in here it's really shaded so it doesn't get as hot as the typical area down here does the christmas mouse and nalani misses christmas already it's only february 2nd so she misses christmas that's like that's like a, over a month and a half ago uh -huh. it's like 47 days and a half ago and you already missed christmas yeah. it went by so fast. christmas went by so cold. fast so fast it went by so fast so the beach house right here behind me, uh, we went in there and they've got a lot of pretty art in there. They've got a lot of pictures from the boneyard down in the Bulls Island, which look really good. And I want to be able to go down there at some point in time and take some pictures, try to get down there in the morning. Uh, don't know how I'm going to get down there that early in the morning for a sunrise, but uh, I've been really wanting to go down to the boneyard. And what it is is the, uh, a lot of the driftwood and everything like that from the trees where the beach has uh, came up into the area but uh, they've got a lot of the trees are down oak, oak trees specifically and they're all bleached out and it makes it look like bones but uh, got a lot of artwork in there all right so now we've made it all the way over to the hammock shops finally so we're gonna look at these outdoor hammocks here these are uh, made down here in Polly's Island and that's what this uh, these little shops here are named after is the Polly's Island hammock I like these hammocks here that hang. You gonna try that one out, honey? Yep. All right. Here, give me your get bags. My caboose in there. Yeah, if you can get your big caboose in there. Without falling out. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. It's comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna swing on it? Swing. She's gonna swing. It's just a swinging. <laughs> You almost got it, and Nalani's over here doing the ring toss. Game face. She's got her game face on. She is swinging that, swinging, swinging that, get trying to get that, and <laughs> chewing that gun we just she just bought. All right, get that, honey. Oh, come on now, you can do better than that. I know, I'm doing horrible. Oh, she's terrible at it. When she got it. Oh, almost got it. Uh, I don't know if she can get it. All right, so. Watch me. Watch you get it. Watch me. All right, she's, I can't. I can't do a uh, forty gigabytes of a uh, ring master ring master trial. He's only been doing this ring master for about thirty minutes now. She finally got it. Five. Five minutes. It took you five minutes to get one. Yeah. Okay. Well, she is now the official ring master. Oh, you got to get five out of five before you're the ringmaster? Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. I need to get away from that fudge back there. I hear you. No fudge. You're the one who needs to stay away from. Stay away from the fudge. No fudge for you. You gonna make me eat all this fudge again? <laughs> no. I don't make you do anything. Those we your came down and got like two pounds of it, and y'all made me eat every bit of it because you, you let it sit one around pound. too long. One. One pound. Was it one pound? It felt like a lot more pounds than that. It probably added more pounds than that. Is what it you're added complaining more, about? It added more pounds to me than that one pound. Yeah. Because they don't even all have right. two pounds. It's one oh, pound or less. One pound or less. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we got a half pound. Uh, we got a half pound. All right, well, go ahead and pick you out another half pound. I'm not, I'm not. And uh, I think we got the chocolate vanilla swirl last time. Get something that tastes really bad, that way there I won't eat it. There's nothing that tastes bad. Is there any of this fudge that tastes really bad? 
I know what I like, but that doesn't mean you'll like. Well, go ahead and get what you like that Maple way there. I won't. good, and so is salted caramel. Okay. Either one of them's good. But you want to get half a quarter. I uh, get a half. Get a half. Can we do a quarter of salt and caramel and a quarter of um, the panucci? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. right, so I tried to get a half pound, and she's picked out two quarter pounds to get. Yeah. Oh, that's still yet a half pound, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Silly. All right, so we're still getting a half pound of fudge. You sure? You sure you don't you want any more? Sure? I don't know. You sure? uh, yeah, that's all. That's that's all. That's all I'm going to be able to eat. That's all you can handle. So we're getting more fudge. Homemade butter fudge. Figure out is how do you come into a hammock shop and walk out with fudge? <laughs> how do you how do you do this? We go into a hammock shop in Polly's Island and we walk out with fudge. Every time we come in here, we end up getting fudge. This is a hammock shop. That's right. Next time we come down, we'll possibly get a hammock. <laughs> okay. We got that. I like it. You paid. Here at Polly's Island, you got to find the dinosaurs. And it's a uh, mineral gallery. So they've got all kinds of different stuff in here. So we're going to walk around. Yeah, they got a mineral. Oh, she's all over. She's, all over. she's, she's gone. All right, she's going, going in. She's taking the dive. And the mineral store here is actually the old schoolhouse. And I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to let you read it. So uh, I'm going to walk on in here. I'm not see what's going on. This is the main area right here. And I hadn't really noticed it before when we were walking through here. But this is all stamped concrete to make it look like bricks but uh if you like this area right here polly's island when you're definitely down here on vacation you come down on vacation definitely come down to polly's island and check out the hammock shops like i said before it's uh before the before barefoot before broadway at the beach uh, this was one of the uh better shopping areas and it still yet is one of the better shopping areas so it's a good way to spend an afternoon to come down here to polly's island and this is just uh, 23 of the shops down here. Well, at some point in time, we'll go across the street and there's uh, some more shops down there. But this area is really pretty. Well manicured, well, manicured, well maintained, and just a uh, pleasure to come down here and walk around. So uh, like I said before, we'll see you on the flip side and stay frosty.